Hey everyone, this is Phil Lord. I'm here with Byron. My name is Byron Hamel. I am a 2021 Academy Nickel Fellow. And my script, Shade of the Grapefruit Tree, is about a severely abused white boy with a murderous stepdad and then his black landlady who is obsessed with science fiction. And she teaches him to behave like a robot, which empowers him to confront the bad stepdad. Oh, there he is. What's happening? What's up, man? Hey, really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I read your bio and you've taken a pretty circuitous route to professional screenwriting. It was like I did all these other things to eventually make movies, things like journalism. I was an associate producer for radio. Uh, I was in a band. I was a professional actor for a little bit. It all applies. I love that contrast. You grow up in the projects, but then you go to a fancy art school. This has been my life. Like I love beauty and like hardship just boom, boom, boom. You had all these details that were just, seemed like they were things that you experienced yourself. Well, these were real people, you know? I based it on the real people and real events in my life. I mean, I didn't literally become a robot <laughs> in, in my real life. So far? Yeah, so far, I'm working on it. <laughs> How long ago did you start writing that script? It was uh, this time last year, actually. Do you write fast? It really varies, like it's, it's months at a time. My first drafts that come out, I want it to be very pleasing to me. Does it make my chest go, does it seize me up? Yeah. Am I gonna cry? The writer. Is that a big part of your writing process that you revise heavily? I mean, my first draft is always garbage. Same here. I'm a great editor actually, and that's where I shine. So if I make garbage, it's okay, I can change it. I don't have the bone anymore that, that says, oh, I feel hurt by your comment. You have to have a lot of humility because the movie wants what it wants. I write with a partner all the time and I learned not to argue with him about his response to it and only to try to engage on like the problem solving. And that gets really fun because when you've got two people in a room kicking ideas around, you always come up with something that neither of you could have done on your own. Yep, because you create a whole new entity. It's, it's, it's not you, it's not him or her, it's like the two of you together, you're something else. My girlfriend, who really is my creative partner in everything, it is that partnership that makes me find the magic moments because I didn't want to write drama. I wanted to do uh, genre stuff because I have all these scenes that would be horribly traumatic to put a child actor through. I don't want to be a person who some child remembers and hates, you know, because I put them through that. Yeah, like I've often been to movies where I'm like, I'm being punished. And I thought that you found a way without pulling any punches to show how difficult the situation was. But alongside it, you know, this is what evil looks like, but this is also what goodness looks like. Mm -hmm. The script really is about the tiny, small things that a person can do to help someone who's going through it. You know, somebody told me when I moved to LA, follow the green lights. And I always try to remember that, that when something comes into your eye line, pay attention. You know, opportunities like this where I get to talk to you are selfishly really enlightening <laughs> for me. So I'm, I get a lot out of that. It's really inspiring reading your this work. It opens up our writing, me and Chris, when we start to think, okay, what if everybody in this scene had good intentions? You've been invited into somebody's brain. <laughs> so you wanna leave, you wanna be proud of what you're leaving. You know, now you're gonna be in the position where people are gonna ask you, like, what helped your writing turn the corner? Um, 100% write completely from your heart, then worry about how it fits with, with everyone else later. Something I try to do more often is embrace whatever enters your head because it's probably you're the only guy who's gonna, that's gonna occur to. It's the only way to tell a story that no one else can tell. And that is how I found my voice with this script. It's funny that it's the, th the thing that broke through for you is the most personal. It is. Well done. Well, we'll see you around the campus, I'm sure. And uh, Godspeed. Uh, do, do some more, please. I will. I am. <laughs>